Hey guys, welcome back to the FM Save here on Football Manager 2022. We are currently <sighs> top of the table in League One. Don't ask me how. You know, I guess the only reason how is Sam Smith and the fact that he just keeps scoring goals. We start with Lincoln at home today. And we finish the January transfer window. We're four or so days away. We've actually got two games before the end of the window. Lincoln and Plymouth. And then we're into the month of February and the run-in, basically. But, I mean, promotion is a possibility at the moment. It really is genuinely a possibility. We've got a lot of players that are tired. So we are going to struggle in this next game, I think. But we hopefully will be able to see it through. I am struggles for players to be fit, though. Who's taller? Willow. Willow's only five foot nine, so I'm going to have to play Thompson at centre back, Nathan Baker at centre back, Blake Tracy. Thankfully, he's fit enough to start a left back. We're struggling for fitness because of the nature of the fixture list, which has just been relentless, absolutely relentless of late. Play Danny Grant on the right as a as just a straight up winger. Uh, oh, I'm torn actually. It's going to have to be Casey Palmer and. Davenport, I think that way around. I see Charlie Webster can start. We'll bring maybe bring Charlie Webster off the bench and Charlotte Tracy on the left as an inverted winger. Sam Smith is slightly tired, so we'll go with Tyler Smith and Harvey Nibs up top, and hope that we don't have to rely too much on the bench because there is not going to be much there in the way of options to use. It's going to be a tough game. This a really tough game. We have our fingers crossed. Right, drop the video like if you're enjoying this. Uh, Facebook save, I was going to say then. This uh, Football Manager save. Make sure you subscribe to the Twitch channel so you don't miss out. Or make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more on this save. And follow me on the Twitch channel. Oh, we're all over the place at the minute, aren't we? Right, let's crack on, shall we? Let's go and play Lincoln. Oh, sit peace for Lincoln. Not keen on this. That is looped. And a pen is given. A push from Shiloh Tracy. And Lincoln have the chance to take the lead against. All run of play. And Dimmy saves. Get out. Thank you, Mr. Mitov. He was penalty saviour in the FA Cup against Huddersfield. And now he's making saves in the league as well. We've got to be winning games like this, but we might end up losing at the minute. We're going to lose it. Stevens will bury this. Knew it. Knew it. Oh, against all play. Well, there's a 1-0 defeat to Lincoln to start the day. Fantastic. Ah, oh, we weren't good enough. Well, no. Nah. Mm. We were good enough. We just did... Wow. From top to fourth in one match day weekend. Right. Plymouth are a very capable side. Not sure where they are in the league, actually, without having checked the table. But uh, Ryan Hardy up top is very good. Dominic Gaping in the midfield is really good as well. Daley Campbell is half decent at right back. They got Callum Burton on the bench from the Cambridge man, was, as we've seen before. Sally Kai Kai was on loan at Cambridge a few years ago as well. Um, Plymouth won four of their last five games. They're second in the form table, and we're eleventh. Uh, do it for the fans if you can, please, boys. Here's Danny Grant. Avoids that challenge very well. Here you go, Sam. Come on. Now's when you turn your... Ah! Oh, game around. Sam Smith is having an off day. And when Sam Smith has an off day, we don't score. Well, there might be a chance for a late goal. Oh! It was offside. <sighs> How, from that angle, running like that, he's been able to put it too far across the goal, I'm not sure. We'll have to take the point. I say things didn't go our way, but... We had two really clear-cut chances. One with Harvey Nibs, one with Sam Smith, and we haven't been able to see the win through. Sam Smith, Razor Blake, Tracy, Conor Marston, and Okadina could now all do with the rest, and we have another game in four days' time. Wigan currently top. So, and with the form that we're in, I don't think we're going to be doing much here. We're certainly inconsistent at the moment and indifferent. So this is probably going to be a pretty tough game. Taylor to Brown, to Charlie White. There's the run again. Just Blake Tracy not picking him up. It's a hell of a finish from Jordan Garrick. 
hell of a finish. It's a really, really, really good goal. Round to Charlie White, through to Garrick, takes a touch and then just drills it. That's the quality that we don't have. All right, Thompson's going to have to come off. He's just not performing. We've equalised. Okay, whilst I was making that substitution, Harvey Nibs is buried from a corner and we've actually scored direct from a corner for the first time what feels like in this save. Lancaster to Nibs. Nibs with the header and the keeper makes the mistake. Christ knows what he's doing. But he's in the back of the net, as is the ball. Yes, we'll make those changes, though, please. We're back level within two minutes. That'll do. Encourage everyone. See if we can't give them a little bit of a, a lift. Charlie Webster with a free kick's a long way out. Oh, but Masterson's there. And he's onside. Charlie Webster, from a dead ball situation, is a genius. He's done that multiple times this season. We now lead at the Reebok or the DW, whatever the hell the stadium is called these days at Wigan. Actually, the Reebok was Bolton, wasn't it? We don't. I, I don't know how we're going to end up winning this game. If we do, five minutes added on, three left to go, two left to go, one left to go. Highlight. Tyler Smith, Danny Rowe. Here's the overlap from Blake Tracy. Back to Danny Rowe! Forces the save out the keeper and they clear it away. Well, whilst the ball's at this end, I'm very happy. 20 seconds left in the game. Lancaster hopefully will time waste a little bit and he's doing exactly that. Thank you, Jack. The players are listening to my commands. He's taken 15 seconds to take a corner and then kicked it straight at the first man, but out for a throw and that'll be the win. I don't really know how we've done that. But that's a massive result. Capable of playing the forthcoming fixture with minimal risk of complications. Thank you, Dimmy. Thank God for that. Man United beat Fleetwood by four goals to nil. So that's them through. We're actually missing another league game over the course of this match day weekend. It wants me to put it does want me to put Will Mannion in, but I'm not going to after that recent report. We'll just I mean We'll just go for it with the regular side and see what we can do. Stoke are, well, they were seventh in the championship last time we looked. Um, George Honeyman in their team. Alfie Doty. Dan Happ. Elliot Embleton's got 10 goals from so far this season. Kieran Dowell on the bench. There's not a massive amount of recognisable, massively recognisable names there, but... Um, I say I want to win every match and today's no different. I'll actually put some pressure on him. I'm so nervous. It's such an important fixture. We are currently oh, well, about to go 1-0 down, I think. Yeah. Connor Ronan with a hell of a finish. Of course, first goal of the season. Classic FM tropes. Not only is it first goal of the season, it's his first ever goal for Stoke. Oh, a double whammy. There's a cracking, cracking result for Cambridge against Aki Stanley. That is a finish and a half from Leonardo Campagna. We are going out of the FA Cup at the fourth round this year, but it's still a good run. I can't, I can't say anything negative to them there. They have given it a damned good go. Proud of your efforts, even though it wasn't to be. Blake Tracy is demotivated by it, but everyone else seems to be happy enough. Blackpool are the side that everyone's looking at in the league because of the nature of the games in hand. But if we're able to hold them to at least a point here, then it will certainly slow up their progression back up through the playoffs towards the automatic spots. So the Intos at the back post. Danny Grant should get to that. Actually, it's gotten away from him. Dougal to Stewart. Takes a touch. Finds some Ento! Shots hit that hard. Unstoppable. Especially when they're accurately away from the goalkeeper as well. Come on. And then Jack around the corner. That'll do, Tyler. That'll do very nicely indeed. Um, Wham. Pick that out, gentlemen. One of the goals of the season. 
Thompson, Smith, touch, bang. You don't stop those either. What we were saying about shots that were struck super hard, right into the bottom corner, away from the keeper. Two really good goals in this game. How have they just let Danny Grant on his own there? That's really poor. And now Lancaster's on his own this side. Chances. Nibs needs support. Lancaster could find another teammate. Finds Danny Grant. It falls to Smith. Oh, we might win it. Unless there was an offside in there, which there may well have been. There wasn't. Oh, yes. A late winner against Wigan. And a late winner, potentially, against Blackpool too. Hobby! Get in, Rude Van Nibsalroy! We will go cautious, and we will certainly be wasting a lot more time now. That puts us out of touching distance for Blackpool with their games in hand as well. Oh, it was such an important win. Cannot underestimate how important that victory was. We'll go in, because we've got a harder game against Rochdale coming up in three days' time. So we will jiggle the side about a little bit. They've got Jack Marriott up top, Peterbrook. Alfie Jones and Dan Potts are very, very good players. Kwame Poker will be dangerous as well. But this certainly is one for the fans, I think. They've lost three of their last nine. Last nine. Uh -huh. Three of their last five games. I mean, now is a great time to score. But it's also a horrible time to concede. Like that. a lovely ball oh what a save what a save Sam Smith can't buy a goal at the minute man's got 36 this year and now he can't score to save his life oh shit red card it, he won the ball it looked like a half decent challenge but red card given and Peterborough down to 10 for the last 10 minutes win it back Sam I mean now would be a wonderful time to score come on Harvey please it's gonna fall free yes Charlie Webster off the bench oh man oh, the relief Slightly overplayed by Casey Palmer, but the keeper couldn't stop it. Palmer couldn't finish it, but Charlie Webster on the volley, Mers. I'm going to leave it on very attacking, but it's only going to be a point. But a point is much better than a loss. Oh, I'm still frustrated. I'm still frustrated that we haven't won that. I hope we're not too weak on that left-hand side. I really hope we're not too weak on that left-hand side. Rochdale have Tomenishkov starting for them. Has me worried that he's going to come back and haunt us. I would certainly like revenge, though, if we can get it. Because they did beat us at their place earlier on in the season, Rochdale, by two goals to one. That's a nice ball. Come on, Tyler. Oh, oh mistake from the goalkeeper! Tyler Smith with... Just a random hopeful shot from, well, it said 35 yards. But the goalkeeper's absolutely made a mistake there. That's so, so far out. And I don't know whether it bobbled or he just took his eye off it. Skipped across the surface. But we lead. Blackpool are playing their game in one of their games in hand tonight as well. And they're playing Rotherham, who we have next. Away from home and Blackpool are winning there. Come on, Willow, don't fuck up. Do something good. You're on a 6.3, pal. Shiloh, love that run. How's the delivery? Decent. Harvey's up. Yes! Danny Rowe! First goal of the season for the man that's going to be leaving us at the end of it. But that could be a very important goal in our promotion push. We lead by two goals to nil. Yes. Wait for him to bang this. Don't foul him. Good block. And as far as Luke Matteson, no. Oh, and Connor Grant has snuck it home. Right. Time for time waste. Time wasted. 2.26 XG. It's one of our best performances of late, and it will give us three points to put us back into the automatic promotion spots. Very well done today, lads. Excellent win. 
Rotherham. Michael Smith up top for them. Ben Wiles is very, very good as well. I mean, they've just got a cracking squad, haven't they? Why they are where they are in the league is bemusing. But if we play as well as we can do, we know we can do, then we could get at least a point here. They just held Blackpool to a point, so we know they're good. In fact, they came back from 2-0 down to Blackpool to get the point. So we can't underestimate them at all. Nor am I. Whether the players will or not is a different matter. Oh, Jabril Okadina! Huge goal! Yes! Off the bench at right back and buries it. How is that for a finish from your right back? First time as well. What a goal! Jeez! We're going to get the win against Rotherham by a goal to nil. And it was a hell of a goal to nil as well. Dribble Ocadina doesn't score many, but that was a very, very good game for us. We had to rely on a strong defence. And the strikers weren't necessarily taking their chances. But Sunderland drew in the end. So we're actually only three points off top now. Although goal difference is still heavily weighted in their favour. Blake Tracy's out for a few days. Which is going to be frustrating. Another good performance by Lewis Mayo out on loan. Bottom of the table extra at home. Let me say, last time we played bottom of the table, it was... Forest Green, and we drew nil-nil. Matt J, we know, is very good. Tom Field is half decent as well. Naki Wells has the experience. The Exeter are not performing very well. Let's show them why we are where we are in the table, and let's show them why they are why, where they are in the table as well. If we can, please. They're struggling a bit for stamina as well, which hopefully will play into our favour. Sam Smith cannot score a goal to save his life at the minute. He's in the biggest, one of the biggest goal droughts of his entire career. Man has scored 25 goals in 30 games, 36 in 39 all season, but hasn't scored in one, two, three, four, hasn't scored in seven. He's got those stats so far this season, but hasn't scored in seven games. Just one assist in that time as well. Wolves win 2-1 against Leicester. Sam Smith is in, no goal in seven games. 37th goal of the season, he puts it away, he's back! It took playing bottom of the table, but he's back! Sam Smith nabs a goal. Up the yellers! Yes! Oh, that's more important than the win. He's getting Sam Smith back on the score sheet. So important. Gorgeous finish as well, a confident finish. More importantly. And the Nibs and Smith partnership continues and Bristol City are beating Sunderland so we are now currently joint top Sam Smith's played in again he's failed penalty and who takes our pens this will tell whether he's in or out of form if he hadn't scored the first I'd have said he might have missed it but he's got the one and now he's got the two Sam Smith's 38th goal of the season we lead by two against bottom of the table, Exeter. Sorry, boys. It's not to be for you today. We got a break soon. Is that a foul? It is. Stubbs is going to get a yellow. A second yellow, sorry, surely. Yep, he's off. Exeter down to 10. I might switch to work it into the box. Thompson looking for Sam Smith. He'll get there. Oh, and with the outside of the boot, scores a hat trick. Sam Smith's back. 3 0. Yellows, yellows, yellows. We've got to play Sunderland soon as well, don't we? In like two games time. Oh, they're not going to go down to nine men, are they? Ref, have mercy. Exeter down to nine. Goal difference is now very close between ourselves and Sunderland. Can we add a fourth? Yes, we can. Harvey Nibs, just on cue. Where is it into the back of the net? Our goal difference, difference between ourselves and Sunderland is now just one. It was seven. I mean, surely we can't score a fifth as well. And go level on points and goal difference with them. No, they're going to go... They're going to go down to eight. Three red 
red cards for Exeter City. I've never experienced it. I've never seen it. Never seen it. Three red cards. Unbelievable. Get your red card emotes out in chat. Sam Smith's back. A hat trick. And one from Nibsy as well. That'll do for me, boys. That'll do very nicely. A 9.9. .9. If you're going to give him a 9.9, .9, give him a 10. Bristol City win 2-0 against Sunderland, which means we draw level on points with Sunderland. City are only four points behind us, however. Wednesday, five points behind us, but with a game in hand. Blackpool drop to sixth as they lose 1-0 to Walsall. And I can't... I can't change things. You don't change a side that wins a game like that. Coventry away... They're in half-decent form commentary with a new manager. They're doing okay. We need to be wary here. This isn't going to be as straightforward as you might initially think it might be. Coventry definitely don't play at a ground that big, though. That's for sure. <laughs> with the game against Sunderland on the horizon. If we can win this and the game against Barnsley, it's a lovely ball through. Surely we'll score here. And we do! Harvey Nibs' 14th of the season. Cambridge 1, Coventry 0. If we can win this one and we can win against Barnsley, we can really put the pressure, really put the pressure on Sunderland for that game away from home at the stage of Malite. No, please. Oh, good header at the back post, though, to be fair to Michael Rose. Very good header at the back post. Giving it the, uh, the Hulk celebration. Maybe. Willow to Nibs. To Willow to Thompson. Building well. That is the goal. Please tell me you're onside, Tyler. Please tell me you're onside. I thought I saw a flag go up. Oh, I did see a flag go up. Ah! A disallowed goal for Sam. A disallowed goal for Tyler. No goals for either Smith in this game so far. Ah, wasted opportunity to go top by more. Because you imagine... Sunderland will win in their next match day. And Bristol City are winning in their game. They're only two points behind us as well. Never mind. Never mind. You can't win every game. Still unbeaten. We're at home against Barnsley next. We'll win that one instead. Catch you later, Huzzy. Well, as Huzzy is on his way out, I too, unfortunately, will be on my way out. Gary Woods... Okay, fair enough. So, as we end today, I will send you on a raid, as ever. So, don't go anywhere just yet. But for those of you on YouTube, make sure you drop the video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the Chesnoid Plays, Plays channel. And certainly, with this title running, make sure you're following on Twitch. Come and watch it live. Link in the description down below. It's going to be a close run thing between... More than one or two sides for this title. But fingers crossed we can get it done. Thank you very much for watching those of you on YouTube. I will see you in the next one.